All right. Um, this one, I think, was the one where it said, uh, oh, actually, I think this is A.1, um, number 63. So, uh, this was the one that said, write as a single fraction and also uh, make it so that you have positive exponents or um, positive square roots. I think that just means you have to rationalize the denominator. If there's any square roots in the bottom, you need to make them so that they're not in the bottom. So, first thing that I'm thinking is I'm going to try and simplify. I'll probably write this x up here because this is the same thing as x over 1. So I'd multiply these two fractions. So that's what I'm going to do first. So then it's just x on top, because it's x times 1, so it's still just x. And then for the top, I'm going to get a common denominator. So that means I'll use this, and I'll multiply it. That's like over 1. Multiply it there and there. It's not a z, it's a 2. All right, so uh, then I have over here these square roots. They'll cancel out, so it'll just be 1 plus uh, x, because 1 plus x underneath a root times itself underneath a root. It, the, the square root cancels away, or goes away. And then we have this minus x, and now we have the same denominator, so I'll write it one single time. And then there's still the 1 plus x on the bottom. Next, I would make this into a fraction. Now I have a fraction of fractions. I'll flip the second one and multiply. So this will flip over and I'll multiply by this one. Uh, I'm also going to distribute the two, <clears throat> and then combine like terms. <clears throat> so I'll have 2 uh, plus 2x minus 1x. That just gives me plus x over 2 times the square root of 1 plus x. Lots of people still make this mistake. You cannot cross those out. That's an, You can't do that. That would be wrong. Because we have that addition there. If it was 2 times x, then we could cross it out because this is 2 times that. Okay. Uh, so I flip the second one and multiply. Okay, and uh, well, I'm multiplying fractions, so I just multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So I get 2 plus x times 1 is 2 plus x. And then I get 2 times uh, 1 plus x, that's there, and then times the square root of 1 plus x. Now I have a single fraction, uh, but now I need to get it get this uh, radical out of the denominator. So I'm going to rationalize. So the reason why I can do this is because this is just one, right? I'm multiplying by 1, so I'm not changing anything. Someone said in class that you could square, just square the top and the bottom. That's, that's changing the actual value of our um, expression. This doesn't change the value of our expression because we're just multiplying by 1. So in the top, I have 2 plus x times the square root of 1 plus x all over 2 times... 1 plus x. Uh, that makes the square root go away. So I just have 1 plus x. And uh, yeah, 2 plus x times the square root of 1 plus x all over 2 times 1 plus x squared. Now it's just a single fraction, right? And 
it's uh, has no it has positive exponents and it has no uh, square roots in the bottom so that's that's it hopefully I copied it down right I'm just double check checking right now so I got a common denominator in the top the only reason I knew to do that was because I'm trying to get a single fraction so common denominator makes sense did that in the top uh, distribute distributed that should be a 2x some of you might have caught that the first time oh no that would be 2x minus x that's what I did I remember so it's still just x okay flip the bottom and multiply <clears throat> yeah, it looks good I think if it's wrong tell me <laughs>